Hey, what's going on, World of YouTube and Diecast fans? So, I'm still out here on the mainland traveling, and like I said in my last video, I was planning on hitting up a few more locations to see if I can add to my collection. So with that said, here are a few more cool treasures for my growing collection. Between browsing at Walmart and Walgreens, I was able to complete my Hot Wheels Golf Car Culture of 1 through 5. Here it is. Volkswagen Golf MK7. This here, I'll show you here in the back. Let's see if I can get it right there. So, I already have all four of the, all these four right here. They're sent back home where this one will go ahead and join them as soon as I get back. Of course, these uh, particular castings will stay in the blister pack and they will just hang right there on the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up of all the cool details that Hot Wheels put into this Volkswagen Golf. Check it out. Very crisp, very clean, very clean lines. A little blurry there. Let me see if I can get in there. All right. Down to the license license plate. The emblem right there in the hood, nicely detailed. The spoiler. Uh, this is a very nice, very good find. Uh, again, I'm not, it, it's hard for me to find these back home, so I'm kind of excited. Glad that I was, uh, that I literally just came across this car. All right, next up are three more of the Hot Wheels Special 50th Anniversary Throwback Collection. These are a replica of the first 16 Hot Wheels that were launched in 1968. So yesterday I found the Volkswagen Beetle, which is right here as you can see. But earlier today, I found the Hemi, the 67 Hemi Barracuda. Oh, let's see if you can see it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all three and then I'll get some close-ups uh, for your viewing and admiration. Let's check this out. Got the custom 67 Mustang right here. It's got the nice Spectre flame, the shine coming through. And the 1968 cooler. Well, look at that. All right, let's get ready for some close-ups. Yeah, set these up here. Oh, all right, stay right there. If you're wondering why I got my two Hot Wheels out here, the uh, truck and the Beetle, well, that's my reference point so that I can try to get it centered on the camera. All right, so here we go, 1968 Cougar. It's got them red lines right there. Start to do a little research, uh, go back to the history books and see how closely similar are these to the ones that uh, actually came out back in 1968. I'm sure there are uh, say minute differences, but for now, um, you gotta admire these right here. Here's the custom 67 Mustang. Again, it's got the red lines. Oh. The phone trying to get away from me. It's a little awkward here. Alrighty. 67 Hemi Barracuda. Man, that just looks freaking nice. Look at that green. Wow. All right, next up is my Forza Motorsport series of five castings. So here we go. Got the 16 Ford GT race. Let me see, let me get this a little closer. There we go. 
And again, I'll go ahead and show all three and I'll get you some close-ups here in a little bit. Porsche 911 G3 RS. Oh. And the Porsche 356 Speedster. Boy, this is a beauty. I think I may go back and grab one more of these. They did have about four. All right, let me uh, get some close-ups and get a better viewing. So you can admire them just like I do. All right, let's start off with the Porsche 356 Speedster. I do apologize for the quality here of video. The lighting in the hotel room is not, not the best. I'm trying to work with what I got. Yeah, back it up. Oh, there we go. Isn't she a beauty? Mm-hmm. Wow. What do you think? 16 Ford GT race. Very nice spoiler. In the Porsche 911 GT3. I showed you the uh, series five, series of five right here. Um, yesterday I found this one. I showed it in my last video. Um, here it is, right here. So I was lucky enough to find this, this these uh, next three ones here, and I am missing the Pagani Huayara. So I am on the lookout. Hopefully I can find it before I head out. If not, I'll just have to uh, keep my eyes peeled and. And hopefully I can find it. All right. All right, next up, just because I had to grab them, they were there. I thought they were cool. Don't really, they don't really go to any particular collection of mine. But I do like the uh, style of the casting. That the 60s Ford Econo line pickup. It's got real riders. I'm going to show all these right here. Got the uh, Nissan. Skyline right here. Just a basic Hot Wheels. I do have the Pagani Horaya Roaster. All right. And I picked up three of these. I like these castings here. 90 Honda Civic uh, EF. Now, in a little bit here, when I get the close-ups of the other the whole set that I just showed you here. I'm gonna show you why I picked up three of these right here. And there's, every one of them has something different. Maybe you already picked it out, but if not, I'll go ahead and point it out once I go through the uh, castings in detail. All right, here we go. All right, get my close up here of the Econo line. Nice flames. Interesting body style there. Configuration, real riders. Got the Ford stamp right there. All right, the uh, Huayara Pagani, Pagani Huayara. I'm having a hard time pronouncing that. Maybe you can help me out. All right, it's got a uh, signature right there. Not sure if you can see it. I think Nissan Skyline right here. I'm sorry about that. Got my big fat finger in the way. All right, here we go. It's a little bit better. I like the details that they put on there with uh, the mirrors actually sticking out. They're not flat like uh, some of the other castings. And this one will look great with some real riders. 
I'll lower it a little bit. Give it a nice feature. Now bring up the Honda Civic. Here's the uh, first one. Not sure if you caught that. Third one. All right, so starting with this one, if you look at the temple right there, let me see if I can get right there. Good focus. Kind of comes down towards the wheel, and then over here by the uh, by the door, uh, between the window and the front and back window, the the decal kind of comes down. It's offset, and then it the the blue line comes all the way forward, slants down, and where they try to do the blinker, they actually placed it down at the bottom of the uh, or lower on the wheel well. If you look at this one here, they got the temple higher than the other one. The line comes down. It's a little bit better set. And the, the blinker itself, it's a little bit off right there. And of course, this one here, which I think it's the correct one, obviously. Everything is centered. Blue line goes through, and sure, the blinker light's a little bit off, but looks a little bit more realistic on this one. But we'll see. I might uh, take these apart anyways, uh, come up with some nice colors, and give it some good tempos and decals. All right, what other goodies did we find? So, oh, where are you going? Get back over here. All right, so we got the 1953 Ford Crestline Victoria. And this thing, it's an M2. But let me uh, go ahead and give it, give it a close up why I bought it. Look at that detail. It's got the white walls. It is just a beautiful, beautiful ride. Yeah, there we go. Look at the emblem on the hood. Just nice. Very well detailed. I think uh, M2 Machines is doing very good with these castings here. All right, here it is. It's the 1959 Cadillac Series 62. I got this one because uh, my dad, he always talks about when he was a young guy, he always, he bought a couple of these and he used to ride around in them. He said they were pink and or something like that. Look at that detail inside there. Let me see if I can get a better view there for you. All right. Peek in the engine compartment. All right, and I got a couple more to go, just two. Pick me up another one of these Volkswagen buses. Again, I really like this style of casting something interesting about these beetles or as it were these volkswagens both the beetle and the bus now this one's here is pretty cool it's a limited edition only 9600 pieces uh, of these were made so lucky enough to have one as part of my collection and here it is And lastly, if you haven't already turned off my channel, I'll fast forward to the end. I got this 1958 V-Dot Microbus with the 15 window configuration. Probably be cracking this one up tomorrow and building it up. I'll definitely uh, put show this on a video.
think it's pretty cool.